the gate of Auschwitz is over there and the rail line, uh, rail line comes all the way over here. Those were the two gates to the crematoria area. There's another crematoria on the other side. They're both destroyed. Uh, those are crematoria two and three or one and two. There's a tower right there. Now you cannot go inside. The last time I was here, you were able to climb into those uh, ruins and there was a lot of flowers and everything and candles and stuff from relatives, relatives of the victims. This, under, this over here with the roof blown up is where the gas chamber and the uh, chambers where the, the uh, prisoners would come through those stairs over there, inside there. There was divisions, of course, and they would undress and then go into the gas chamber. The gas chamber was right here, is that area right there. And there were the holes on top of the roof where the SS guards would throw down the pellets of Zyklon B to gas the people in about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then they would raise them up through some kind of elevators into this area. And this area right here was the crematorium. This area right here was the crematorium. Uh, around November 1944, if I'm not mistaken, the Nazis seen the Soviets coming their way. They started dismantling all this shit out and uh, shipping it out. And uh, by January, they just in the last few days of the war, uh, one of the truths I heard, one of the stories I heard or I read was that Joseph Mengele personally, with the help of some guards, uh, blew up the, this, those crematoria, this one and the other one over there. Uh, I don't know which true is the best true, but this is the crematoria. <laughs>